Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video we are going to look at five default settings in Microsoft Word that you are going to want to be aware of and you're going to want to set for your own preferences. So let's get straight in and have a look at number one. Okay now the first default setting we think you are going to want to know is how to set your default font. So I have this document at the moment and my default font is Calibri, uh, the standard default from 2007, I think it was, that Microsoft changed that. Now to change that to our own font, which will be the default and the standard for any future documents that I create, I can, on the Home tab, click the dialog box launcher arrow that sits in the corner of that font group to open up the font dialer box. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control D. From here I will choose the font that I wish to set as my default and let's say that I want Chaparral Pro and I can adjust the size if I wish but I think I'm happy with 11 and any other settings that you feel relevant with regards to your font. And then I can click this set as default button at the bottom. So clicking OK will only set that for this one document. I am looking at using it to set it for any future documents I use. So I'm going to click set as default. And I'm going to choose all documents based on a normal dot dot .m template. Dot dot .m template. I'll click OK to confirm that. And that is now my default font in Word. Whenever I create a new document, I will not have to worry about changing that unless I need to for any ad hoc paragraphs of text. The second setting we're going to look at is the after spacing for your paragraphs. Now, by default, I believe Microsoft have a 10 point spacing. And what I mean by this, just to make sure we're all clear, is that when I'm typing a paragraph in, today is a sunny day, and I press enter on the end to create my next paragraph, it automatically puts this space in here. So this setting is found on the page layout tab, and is normally just over halfway, it's about halfway on my ribbon, where I have the after spacing for the paragraph and it's set at 10 points that's a 10 point gap in between each paragraph um, tomorrow may not be of my document now not everybody's happy with that personally I am although I may wish to adjust the spacing at times but some people do not like that at all or they may just want a smaller space or a slightly bigger space depending on the size of the font that they're typing in usually. So let's have a look at how we can change that. Now once again, like with a previous setting, where we have our paragraph group, I can click this arrow in the bottom right hand corner to open up the full on dialog box for paragraph settings. So what I'm about to say is it can be applied to any paragraph setting. But I'm looking at the after spacing two thirds down the dialogue here and let's say that I just want to adjust it to 12 points for the purposes of making a change let's say that's what I want to do and then I can click my set as default button at the bottom adjust it to all documents based on the normal .m template and click OK That will adjust it here, and now any future documents that I create, I will now have a 12 after spacing by default. Right, the next setting is to look at changing the default spelling language. So by default it is set as English US, but depending on what country you're coming from, you may wish to adjust your default setting. 
It may well be that you write documents in multiple languages, in which case you will need to be able to adjust it document to document, depending on the language you are writing in, but you'll want one standard, one default, that is the one you primarily use. Now for this one, we are going to the review tab. That is where our kind of proofing and our kind of tracking settings are. From here, we can go to the language button and set proofing language. This will allow us to change the proof of language for this specific document. So I can say that I'm writing this document in French or maybe writing it in German or so on. And I'm letting Word know what it needs to be checking my spelling in. However, once again, towards the bottom, we have our set as default button. So I've got it currently set as English UK uh, because I am based in the UK. But let's say, for example, that I wish to change it to English United States. I can then click set as default. That will give us the usual warning. Oh, this is going to change it for all new documents. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Yes, I would very much like that. And I can click OK. And that will now be my default for future documents that I write. So to be clear... We can change this document to document itself, and any documents that you open that were written by somebody else, they will be set by the language of the author. So you're sitting here, will not adjust their documents, even if you write, sorry, opening it in your own version of Word. This is just setting it for the documents that you create yourself. Okay, now the next default setting is how to turn off the mini toolbar. Now the mini toolbar is when you highlight a piece of text or some cells of a table or something like this and you get this toolbar jump up to assist you with just kind of general formatting and kind of popular commands. Now that seems great and some of you guys may feel that it's great but sometimes that toolbar jumps up like right in an area where you want to be. So sometimes it can become a bit of an irritant uh, to people. And that is kind of myself included. I'm not a big user of the mini toolbar. So what we can do is click on our file tab, come into options and uncheck the show mini toolbar on selection option. The very first option. We also have enable live preview there, which generally people like. That's the feature that's showing you what your font looks like and the colour of something looks like as you hover over the format and sense. So I'm going to keep that one on. But mini toolbar is off. So now when I click OK and I highlight some text, it no longer appears on selection. It will still appear if I right click and do actions like that so it's accessible but not on selection and that's the way that I like it. And for the last lot of default settings we are going to look at our auto correct options. So we can access these by clicking file and then options and on the left hand side where we get our categories of different options in Word. We can go into Proofing, and along the top we have our Autocorrect options. So if you're not familiar with these, as the name suggests, these are different things that we may type or actions we may perform, and Word will automatically correct or adjust or do something to it. So. So I didn't mean to click that. For the main part of it, we have these autocorrect options. Various stuff like capitalising the first letter of sentences, capitalising names of days, and quite a large list below of what they believe is a common typo, and then the correction to it. And the good news is that we can edit this list, we can add our own words or kind of phrases to there, 
uh, to speed up our typing to improve our productivity and we can also remove stuff from there it may be that word believe it's a uh, incorrect typing but it may be the name of somebody that you know or the acronym of a company or some kind of phrase or company name so we can remove them from there if that's causing an issue in what we're doing and we also have this other stuff here we've got auto format as you type the way that word automatically creates ordinals and fractions and uh, creates bulleted lists and numbered lists when you start typing in Word and, and what they believe to be a list. We have stuff like internet and network pass with hyperlinks. If they recognize what they believe to be a web address or a network path, they will adjust it to a hyperlink automatically. And this is probably good stuff. But depending on your preferences, you may wish to turn this stuff off, you may wish to turn this stuff on. We have more auto format options on this tab. Options for the built in heading styles. We've got hyphens where they create the, uh, the line across your page. And then we even have other kind of like math auto correcting here. So the main area of interest has got to be the auto correct options. We can adjust the words that are to speed up what you do or to remove elements from it but there are other settings here that you may wish to explore and adjust to your needs okay now that concludes our five default settings in Microsoft Word I hope you found this video tutorials useful uh, please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel uh, or any other tips and tricks we have at computergargar.com